to another video i hope you're all all right so as you can tell from the title this is a home bargains and tesco haul not massive just a few bits because we've already got stuff in um i just had to go on the hunt for some health healthy extra b options that are gluten free and some low sin snacks that are okay with no gluten in them mission accomplished um so i'll show you them um but before i do i just wanted to show you this um, I ordered this so I can keep track of everything. As I mentioned, no gallbladder, IBS, and a gluten intolerance, I think. <laughs> Since having my gallbladder removed, it's been a drama. But anyway, um, I'm following the Slimming World plan, if you didn't know. <laughs> so I got myself a food diary, and it is from Blooming Gorgeous. Um, I got mine from eBay through Blooming Gorgeous, but yeah, you can go on their actual website and it's such a good, good book. It's for 12 weeks, so I can track all my food and keep an eye on what's what, see if anything hurts. You can start at any point as well, um, because it says like the week and you can write whatever week you're in. So like week number, then you write in. So I'm not going to do this until Saturday. Today is Thursday and I've got to weigh in on Saturday, so I don't really want to start this for two days and then, you know miss out a whole week so but yeah it's so nice and it says always believe in you and then this food journal belongs to then you've got your weight tracker measurements tracker for 12 weeks this is i think i just said that i can't remember you've got your piggy bank so you can mark off your pounds when you lose the motivational um page uh your goals and then your week number as i've just shown you and then you could get a meal plan for the week and then you get seven of these throughout the week to oh that's your shopping list sorry that's your food plan so you yeah you write down all your bits and your bobs then you get a weekly summary at the end of every week as well um i just thought i'd share if it if it helps you know these sort of things really help me stay motivated on track and i can also keep an eye on my tummy and see if anything occurs so yeah i got that for 12 weeks and i've also got my amazing pen um, I brought this last year from Home Bargains. It's the best. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, so that's going to be me for the next 12 weeks. And I will still continue using my pen even after the Christmas. You know. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was that. I just thought I'd share that quickly just in case it helps any of you. Um, right, so I'm just going to get on with it. So I will start with Home Bargains and then I'll move on to the Tesco bits. So I've got... Um, Move this bag out of the way. I did buy me and Gary and my mum and my brother an advent calendar a while ago. Um, I got the Polar Express. Polar Express, yeah. I got the Polar Express one. I got my mum that one, and then I got my brother and Gary Grinch. It's just normal chocolate, but I can't, I can't eat it because it's got gluten in it. Um, and I heard that the Dairy Milk, Cadbury's Dairy Milk range is has a lot of gluten free so a lot of non-gluten ingredients in them so i have checked all the back of the ingredients but if you're gluten free check for yourself well, i've checked everything and i can't seem to, i can't find any gluten ingredients so i got myself an advent calendar because what is christmas without an advent calendar yeah i'm 35 no i don't care does this make me happy every morning yes yes it does I'm not sure how many sins there are i think they're like one to two sins each Oh, per piece, 20 calories, so one sin per chocolate. That's worth it to me to wake up on Chris every morning before Christmas and have a chocolate. So, yeah, um, I got that one. That was um, only one nine to nine, which I was quite shocked about. And these, I got mum, my brother and Gary another calendar because they prefer this. And they were uh, um, on offer at the moment. They had loads um, for 99p. So, if you've got any kids that like Milky Bar or grown big ass kids like yours truly then yeah these are 99p so i got them but all three one of these gary's much happier because he loves milk chocolate milk bar he is a milk bar kid um so yeah i got them that anyway so yeah first christmas item that i've shown you even though i've been and done but you know sorry i'm here now and um, so yeah i've got those right i'm gonna move on to everything now so i'll just show you the non-food stuff so I've got these washing tablets, these are really nice, I do really like them. You have to have the boosters guys, this just makes your washing the best alongside, as I said before, the softener. These are just the best combination to long lasting, nice smelling fresh clothes. 
love this my mum's old sword sets it's got to be that <laughs> and these are really nice so i like them and then i've got some blues for the toilet you get a pack of three i think these are like 2.99 for a pack of three which is quite good um these are the best for your toilet literally make your water nice and blue and they do smell really good nice and fresh right <laughs> It's a bit jibber jabber, but I'll start with this. Stuff. So, I've got some potatoes, which are a fruit food. I've got some tomatoes, which are a sea food. See what I mean about my tummy? I don't eat. I haven't had anything yet. <laughs> I need to get on with it, but I want to do this first. Um, I've got some onions to try again because I'm not 100% sure if they trigger my tummy or not yet. We shall see. <laughs> so, I've got some onions, um, sea food. Gary. Gary's. Um, I've got this cheese because it just worked out cheaper to buy this big block in home bargains. I mean, it is huge. Can't remember the price, but I know it worked out cheaper. I think it was like £2.50. It's 550 grams. Um, so you'll have 30 grams of this cheese for your healthy extra eye. Um, two boxes of ibuprofen. There's nothing exciting here, guys. It's literally just a stand shop and some gluten free stuff. Nothing exciting, nothing Christmas here. So <laughs> get your hopes up. Um, right, okay, so we'll move on to the snacky things now. So, Gary's got these, got those. <laughs> it's got two flat jacks. So, there's a cherry bake one and a chocolate one. Oh, I used to love this. So good. Honestly. It is just lovely. Um, got me some brunch bars. Got both a packet of these, and I can have them. Um, they are the Grinch sour apple sweets. Um, these are for 25 grams, four and a half sins. I think that's worth it to have a nice sweet. I really do. Um, yeah, and I've got this. 59 calories for the whole bags. Obviously, I'm not going to have a whole lot once to make it up, but I was just thinking over Christmas time. Obviously, I'd share it. I'm just not telling it's gluten free and hope for the best. But I've seen this and I was like, I'll give it a go um, closer to Christmas time. Um, but yeah, 59 calories for the whole lot, but it is gluten free. So, as I say, I will make it for everyone. I'm just not telling it's gluten free. <laughs> so, yeah, grab that. Um, I got some cereals just in case. I can't be bothered to do overnight oats or make anything because I couldn't find any more oats and I've only got a few bags of them left um, which is sad because I love my overnight oats but yeah I've got these gluten free like cornflakes they are for 25 grams is five sins I've got them I've got some of these for four sins it's coming to that time where hot chocolates are going to be needed um, so these are gluten free ones and for 25 grams is four and a half sins. So I've got those. Got some Harrow's. These ones are two and a half sins per bag. These ones are four sins per bag. Next match going on here, but I haven't got any. So as I say, um, I went through everything on these um, and I couldn't see any gluten stuff so should be fine. Um, five sins for those and five and a half for the flake. Two boxes of this. I've got one for like now at some point and one for Christmas time. It's the gluten free sage and onion stuffing. Is it even Christmassy time without stuffing? No, I don't think so. Um, for 45 grams is three sins. So I just get two just in case I can't get one around Christmas time. Because I feel like it's all going to go because there's only a couple of boxes left. So I grabbed that. I've got this sheer gluten free white loaf. Two of these is a healthy extra B. It is the small loaf. It's a 250 gram. Um, but I did get a couple of these just in case. Um, and I popped them in my mum's freezer. So yeah. Can't sign anything. I don't know why I sniffed it. But yeah. It's lacto free, high in fibre. Uh, vegan friendly and gluten free so yeah got some of that they did have the seeded one and the, a different one but i just went for this one um play it safe <laughs> so yeah i got that i uh, got a box of the bliss bars these ones are gluten free it's yogurt and strawberry for four sins 
and the lemon ones also gluten free for four sins and then i've got the salted caramel ones also four sins and gluten free so yeah i've got those those are my snacks um yeah that was all of home bargains so i'll just show you tesco's now so um yeah i've just grabbed the tesco stuff so cold out there today this has nearly gone cold from chatting too much so this is using my age was by the way for coffee weighed and measured guy oh i left something out from home bargains i got this to try um it's the heinz french onion soup can't see it again any gluten ingredients that i can see um i did go through it a couple of times but now i can't see any for this whole can is one and a half cents i think that's nuts i wish i would grabbed a couple more now but i need to see how it works on my belly first it's any good i'll get some more but yeah a nice french onion soup because it is getting cold now it's just nice to just have a nice soup at dinner time or something with a bit of bee choice bread with a nice Christmas movie. So yeah, I like that. Right, so Tesco. So I've got to get more bread. I feel like I've got more bread now than I usually do, but I need I don't know what's what at the moment. I don't want horrible bread, so I'm trying to work out which is nice. I couldn't find any wraps, which I'm gutted about. Because I love a wrap over bread, but I couldn't find any in there. So I've got this um soft white loaf by Promise, which is gluten free. Um two of these is a healthy extra bee they did have the seeded one but i'm not sure how much we work with seeds because when i've had chia seeds before in like overnight oats or warmed porridge or anything like that i've had a bit of a bad belly but i don't know if that was the oats at the time now so i'm not sure i didn't want to risk it so i just got the just the plain white promise loaf so i got that um i'm just to get another bread item there it is we've got these I just want to make like a pizza in the week so i've got the um bee free soft baked pita breads so i've got a pack of those you get four in there um one of these is a healthy extra bee so i was looking for this brand in wraps but there was nothing my tesco's is shocking um yeah but anyway so i've got that i'm fine with that i can make a nice little pizza and some thing roll chips or something in the week just a nice hearty food uh i've got these <laughs> these i don't know what the sins are of this i haven't checked this one sorry i did everything else <laughs> but i forgot this um it's the aunt betty's gluten-free yorkshire pudding mix um so yeah no idea what that is gonna be but we'll find out when i have it i don't know when i'm having it i just thought it was something to try got one of these which i'm gonna have for my dinner in a minute um it's the free from chicken and mushroom noodle part it's like rice noodles um i have had them before if you can see it uh it's one and a half sins i believe for the for the pot which isn't too bad for a quick dinner which i need today so i grabbed that while i was out because i was hungry my belly is twinging a bit because i haven't eaten you're not meant to skip meals without no gallbladder i didn't know that either but anyway um and instead of just like grabbing something i should not <laughs> I, I went for this so i will have that in a minute because uh, i am hungry now um Gary's tomato sauce because he literally cannot live without tomato sauce. He'd go for a whole bottle every two days if he had his way. Uh, and then I got these. So these ones were a pound and these were a one pound fifty with a club card. So I got three of the pound ones and then one of these. But they're just oxo cubes. Everything's got gluten in. I didn't even know. This is why I probably couldn't pinpoint what was triggering my belly. But everything's got blooming gluten in. I didn't realise how much stuff to be honest. Um, but I got the organic beef stock pot stock cubes they just have stock pots as well but they're a bit more pricey i think they were like three pounds something because i like, know not unless i need it for a specific recipe i'm not getting them <laughs> um but these are gluten and lactose free if you can see them so i got them ones and then i've got two chicken and one vegetable so i've got the and it's very low salt as well not bad is it um but they're organic vegetable gluten and lactose free as well stock cubes so i've got one of them and then two of the chicken ones so yeah we shall see how those go um i couldn't find the coconut oil fry light which i know 100 is gluten free because it says it on the packaging they didn't have any they only had the choice of two 
so I've gone for the mild and light rapeseed oil rapeseed oil one um I looked at the ingredients I couldn't I can't see any like gluten ingredients so oh gluten free there we go okay. I can't <laughs> you see that camera's really not focusing but anyway it says gluten free Coconut oil is my favourite one, and then the butter one, but I ain't gonna buy any if it's gluten free, I'm good. So I got this one, so at least now I know I've got a choice of two. I'm not sure about the others, they probably all are, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, I've got this one, so we're okay, we're okay. Um, Worcestershire sauce, did you know that was gluten? I didn't, you probably did. Um, so I've got the free from gluten one because this goes in a lot when you do Slim the World, your bolognese, your beef dishes, a lot. Um, I'll probably put a bit of this in here as well, make it a bit nice, hopefully, I don't know, I'm not trying to, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gluten free, so I ain't bothered, it tastes different, Lo loads of things taste different now, especially bread, but I'd rather that and get used to that than have the belly and all the drama, to be honest, so we got that to try, I couldn't find the right soy sauce, there's a specific one, but I couldn't remember it, so I didn't want to risk it, um, so I just got the Worcestershire sauce for now, um, and then I got, I was obsessed with these, they are not, I think, I haven't scanned them this time, but I think when I had them before I worked out once in each, um, and they are the potato stars, they are the nicest little thing on the side of your plate, with like a breakfast, like a slim world breakfast and a few of these on the side for a sitting. They're really not, nice and fluffy inside and nice and crispy on the outside, I do mine in the air fryer, but you can do them in the oven, I did once upon a time before I had my air fryer, so yeah, and again, I couldn't see any, um, gluten ingredients so I will be having some of those at some point to carry. They're really nice. You can get quite a lot in there and they're quite cost effective as well. I think they're like £1.39 for the whole bag. Obviously you don't get half the bag do you? No. <laughs> some leeks which are speakers so I make a nice a stew um, in the week at some point. I'm not sure when because I've got some steak in the freezer, some beef steak, got chunks so I'll use that. Now I've got my oxo cubes, I can make that. Because I did cook yesterday corned beef hash. Um, so I had it yesterday and I got another three. So I've got my three meals for three days now. I just add a bag of frozen veg or some for a veg with it or something to make it easy. <laughs> um, so I've got no excuse. And uh, yeah. So I got that and then once that's gone down, I'll do my stew and batch cook that for like four days and then four days could go in between I've got like pizza and stars or something. Anyway, you don't need to know my meal menu, do you? My meal menu? Meal menu, yeah. That's the thing. Um, mushrooms, I think I'm okay with these. Um, I just can't have too many of them, but again, I'm going to track it all in the food diary and work out what for what. Um, speed food. I've got some sprouts to use the other leaf with um, potatoes so that I can make a sprout soup as well at some point this week for my dinners because it was delicious I made it once upon a time that video is up on my channel if you search through um, just Slimming World Sprout Soup it'll pop up it's straightforward and simple and it is delicious please don't judge it until you try it if you like sprouts it's not overpowering sprouty it's good it's a nice comforting festive soup it's really good I enjoy it, um, so obviously, so I'm gonna make some more. I uh, got some iceberg lettuce, speed food, and then lastly, I just got some ham, which is a protein. As I say, I've got all the other bits to go with everything. So I've got chicken, I've got uh, five percent mints, I've got pork mints, I've got a few. I've got. I need to get more eggs, but I've got a few eggs. So yeah, we're all good. So that's everything I got. Just checking. Yeah, that's everything I got. Um, yeah, I hope this video helps. Just give you some ideas. If maybe if you need some gluten free options, possibly. But please do check for yourself because I don't want to. I don't want to be held responsible if it's wrong. I'm just going on my my knowledge of what I have worked out for myself. Um, so yeah, please do double check. But things that say gluten free, then you know you're all good. But like, things like this literally say like gluten free on them. So yeah, I'll go for things like that. <laughs> Unless you, you know, you've worked stuff out, but please be careful. Um, 
Right, I'm going to go. I'm going to put this away. I'm going to finish my cold coffee because who doesn't want to drink that like that? And um, pop this away. And then I'm going to have my pot noodle for one and a half sins because I haven't had anything yet. I'm very hungry. Well, I'm not even very hungry. It's just grumbly and a bit uncomfortable because I haven't eaten. So I think I need to listen to what I eat and bloody eat after I put this lot away, of course. But anyway, I hope you all have a lovely day. Let me know down below if you're going to get anything from this video. But I'd grab them calendars um, from Home Bargain for 99p if you need a calendar for your kitty winkles. Um, it's good value if they like chocolate for 99p. There's loads of them. It's not because they're out of date. They're just 99p. Literally a big pile of them. Um, I did check today. <laughs> anyway, I'm off late. I'm going to go and I will see you all again very soon. Another video, probably Saturday or Sunday because I get weighed on Saturday. So I'll either do a video Saturday or Sunday weighing in and letting you know possibly Sunday because I think I'm a bit busy on the Saturday and tomorrow I've got the vets with Aurora uh, last Friday was Princess at the vets and then Princess got to go again the following Friday so yeah it's a bit of a mishmash but yeah I'll probably be back Sunday with a weighing update for you um, either way I'll be back and I will speak to you all soon love you all bunches and thank you for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all again soon bye